Good morning guys and welcome to our first full day on Gilly Air. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, uh, just walked outside of the bungalow and we're about to be served breakfast on our little patio area uh, in the air yeah, outside the bungalow which is pretty amazing. Uh, I think today's going to be a full on day of exploring the island, uh, we're going to go and do a bit of snorkelling um, and go and check out some other beaches so uh, let's get some breakfast and then get going. This guy's breakfast served on our patio. Nice cheeky little banana pancake and a cup of tea. Looking forward to this. Guys, we're now heading to the north side of the island. Uh, yesterday we were all kind of exploring the south side uh, and the beaches down there are lovely. Uh, loads of restaurants and bars and things like that. Uh, but we haven't seen the north side of the island. So we're gonna walk up to the north side. Good thing about Gilliere is that it's pretty bloody small. So it's about 20 minute walk from one end to the other. Um, so it's probably about a 15 minute walk for us from where we are. Uh, so we're going to walk up there, check out the scene and uh, hopefully do some nice snorkeling. Good. Well, good morning to you too, Jeffrey. plot on the west side of the island um, so we just set up camp in a little day bed and there is the view out to the ocean pretty epic uh, so we're gonna go snorkeling in a minute Shit guys, it's a fucking sea turtle. How cool is that? Guys, we just finished our first snorkel of the day and that was fucking epic. Within two minutes of being out there, I saw a sea turtle, followed that guy for quite a long time. The amount of fish out there is insane. Um, this is probably the best snorkeling I've ever had in my life and I've snorkeled 
in at least 10 different countries and this you literally walk out to and within five minutes there are thousands of different types of fish, sea turtles, I'm fairly sure I saw a ray, a stingray in the distance, I couldn't get close enough to it to film it before it shot off. Um, it's incredible, I cannot recommend it highly enough. Guys, okay, so we just took a walk to the uh, north side of the island and you can see Gilimino just over there. Uh, that way. And we're just going to have a spot of lunch in this really peaceful setting. Uh, I am the only person talking. It is complete silence. Listen to the silence. Can't hear anything. It's so peaceful. So guys, we just finished up having some lunch by the beach and we're walking straight back directly through the middle of the island. Uh, and right next to me, which I thought was pretty cool, uh, is a solar farm. Um, so obviously a lot of the power on Gilier comes from these solar panels. Um, and it's quite a big sized solar, um, kind of solar farm. There's got to be 20 different strips of panels, maybe 100 panels on each strip. So there's quite a few, um, that's probably powering quite a lot of the island. Um, and we haven't had any power cuts since we've been here, so maybe that's why, because um, they've got a decent solar farm kind of generating the energy all throughout the day, um, which is pretty cool. But anyway, going back to the bungalow very quickly, just to um, pick up some more cash, because we came out with barely any cash on us. Then we're gonna go back out for another snorkel, uh, and then probably have a couple of cocktails whilst watching the sunset. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Guys, after a quick shower and change of clothes, we're now walking to the west side of the island, because uh, it's pretty much the only side of the island that we've been on, uh, and it's where the like iconic swings are. So I'm gonna get some photos of the swings and some video of it as well, uh, and that side of the island. So let's go and check it out. Guys, here we are by the uh, famous Gilly Air swings. Uh, I'm not actually sure how famous they are, but I've seen them in photos before. Uh, what you do have to watch out for is this beach is just solid coral. Um, so, Getting out to the swings is pretty difficult on your feet, but there's the swings. Uh, now we're going to go and watch the sunset somewhere. Guys, we just came out for some dinner uh, after having a couple of cocktails and watching the sunset. And uh, I've got to say, this place that we've eaten at twice now. Uh, the first day when we got here we had lunch here. It's probably the cheapest place to eat on the south side of the island, so it's near the jetty. Um, and you go past the Manta Dive Resort, uh, and then you get to this little place that's called Lalapan Saba, and you can get the most amazing nasi grain, so like fried rice and chicken with an egg, um, for 25,000, which is a pound 50. Um, and it's delicious, like this is my half eaten one. I'm halfway through eating it, so please excuse the fact that I've eaten half of it. But it's absolutely amazing, and it's probably it's definitely the cheapest place to eat uh, that we found so far on the island. Uh, so I definitely recommend it. I'm going to finish eating my meal um, and then see what happens. So that's it for tonight. Uh, really quiet evening. Uh, really nice dinner at our new favourite restaurant. Um, definitely recommend going there if you're on a budget and you want to sit by the sea, but pay really cheap and get really nice food. Um, it's been a really nice day today, actually, and I'm slowly falling in love with Gilier. Um, seeing the sea turtles was incredible uh, and hopefully I got you guys some really good shots I had a check back over some of the footage and it looked pretty epic so hopefully you guys enjoyed that the snorkeling overall is insane I can't believe how far you can get out and just all of the fish all of the turtles that you can see uh, but as I said that's it for today um, I'll let you guys know what we're doing tomorrow as soon as I know uh, but until then uh, remember to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.